You know the rules. I have returned from where I once came. You fools, you doubt me. I have traveled many years for this. Yeah. This very Dominoes. thing. A couple of months ago, I talked about Beav is Brandon, or Bevo, more commonly known. That was a great video. If you want to see that video, click the title card. But, you know, watch this one first. Unless you need the context, then go ahead and get you some context. You know what I'm saying? At the time, Bevo didn't have much going for him. He just would not chew his food properly, and that was about as far as I could go when it comes to me not really liking him. And I thought it'd be kind of fun, you know, to poke him with a stick a little bit. But very shortly after, Bevo just started to go straight downhill. He went from zero to 100. Honestly, it's still going, but I did want to kind of just start off by trying to understand it. A lot of this I don't fully know, but I do have three main points I want to talk about today. Buckle up. We're going to get into it. I think we could start where we left off, with Bevo and his girlfriend sitting down and eating some food. Breakfast, you know the rules. This, uh... Dinner, yeah, dinner and breakfast. Uh, can be special. Big up this is, you know the rules. Yeah. What we taste, oh, ketchup. You won't see the tattoo yet because that's an announcement, but big up the ketchup. Big up the tattoo. Big up the tattoo. So, you know, we have about the normal stuff, right? We have Bevo and his girlfriend. They're eating some breakfast that looks phenomenal, by the way. That looks amazing. I wish I could eat that. And that's English food. Usually I'm dogging on it because it looks like this, but you know, that looks fire. I'll admit it. Now, the way he put the ketchup on top of it was not fire. Didn't like that, Bevo. No good. Right, that's your first strike of the day. All right, you only get three of those. But, you know, they're just saying stuff about knowing the rules, which he's never explained what the rules are. I still don't know what the rules are, and uh, that's probably why I don't have the same amount of subscribers as him. Pick up, Bevo. It's a sausage. It's a sausage. Well, they've got 7 out of 10 on the sauce. What do you have on it? That's brown. And there it is, the iconic two chew, one swallow. Man does not chew his food. Before, it was because of his teeth, but he actually recently just got his teeth fixed, so he doesn't have the buck teeth that he used to have. Good for Bevo, you know? He said he was homeless and he couldn't afford anything, but I'm glad to see that you got some veneers. That makes perfect sense, Bevo. We'll, we'll get on that point in a minute, but for now, let's just focus on his girlfriend. So they seem happy, right? This is January 28th. You jump forward to Valentine's Day, roughly two and a half weeks later, and we get this. Dinner, you know, you know the rules. Um, me with Sophia, happy Valentine's Day. You know the rules. Your eyes aren't wrong. That is a completely different woman. You know, if you're like me, which I'm always questioning things, you're just like, what happened? Where did she go? What, hap what happened to what happened to Sydney? She's been there since day one, by the way. And here we are with this new lady two weeks later. What happened? There isn't much on it. This is all I could find, and I'm going to watch it with you guys. You said you saw me last time. You fucked up and did it again, Brandon. I didn't do it again. You did. She brought your smeghead of a mate out, and she's starting shit. <laughs> My smeghead of a mate? Well, I don't want to call her the S-K-E-T word, do I? But you're the one that was flirting with her moving. I wasn't flirting with her. You fucked off because you had the ump. There's a lot. The dissect here. So let's just put on our thinking hats and try to figure out what's going on here. This is obviously her on it. Looks like an Instagram live with Bevo on the phone. She's talking about an event that happened, which probably resulted in them breaking up. So apparently Bevo cheated on her with her friend. That's pretty messed up. No, no. He's got a point. Just struck two Bevo. Not going to lie to you. First, you catch up on wrong and now you're cheating on your girlfriend. Not big ups. Bevo, those are big downs. And listen, I was one of the first to not like Bevo. So that's pretty messed up, right? And then he goes on to call her a S-K-E-T, which I don't know what that means. It's probably a British slang for probably something in the sense of like a bitch. You know, somebody you don't like. I'm going to, all right, do you want to make a video? Well, I don't give a shit what she no, does. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an apology video. My name out your bio as well. No, no. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make an apology video because as I say you won't even get me have a chance to say what I want to say. You fucked about too many times. I haven't fucked about too many times. Of 
So that's an interesting tactic, you know. I'm gonna make an apology video before you can say anything bad about me so that they already have a chance to know that I fucked up. Basically, he's playing defense before he even gets accused. You know, if that's your way of thinking, instead of just being like, hey, I messed up and I'm really sorry, I cheated on you, that's pretty fucked up. You know, I'm a, I'm a kind of a piece of shit for that because you are, by the way. If you cheat on your significant other, what's wrong with you? Love them or break up with them. Don't do this stupid shit. I obviously this is a fiery hot mess and I, I really don't care enough to go into it. If you really want to know all the details and why Bevo cheated on his girlfriend, go into it. I don't care enough. Now that we have a little bit of context, we know that he cheated on his girlfriend with another girl and she broke up with him and then he was like, I'm going to make an apology video. Big ups. I'm going to save them. Yeah, it just keeps getting worse. Week after week, we see Bevo with a different girl. Bevo getting got red-handed. So you can just see the fear in his eyes. Pretty funny. You know, apparently that's somewhere in the window of him still in a relationship with Sydney, his girlfriend. Honestly, it's a hot mess. All of it is a hot mess. So jumping back real quick to the girl at the Valentine's Day lunch. You know, you know the rules. Um, I mean, with Sophia, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, that's the one. With her, two weeks after Valentine's Day, we see this. Yeah, in the course of under two months, Bevo is engaged to a completely different woman. <laughs> now listen, I'm all for shotgun wedding, but the fact that he has gone through cheating on his girlfriend, going around to a bunch of clubs and kissing random girls for about a week, maybe, and then within two weeks of that, also being engaged to a random woman, that's a lot. Right? And before you start typing in the comments and getting on to me for like talking shit on him being engaged in two weeks, let me just show you his most recent video. Dina, you know the rules. I'm with Holly. Holly, up Holly, you know the rules. Um, we got, we're, where are we at? Say Bill's. Yeah, we're at Bill's Cafe. Bill's Cafe Leeds, you know the rules. Big up Bill's, big up, big up Uncle Bill. Um, yeah, we've got breakfast. We we'll right every out of 10, we've got to go for the old trustworthy ketchup. Yeah, we've got some ketchup. some ketchup? Over. Yeah, that's Bevo on a date with At Halls, who, if you don't know At Halls, she is a creator on OnlyFans. You know, good for her. Glad that she's making a bank. You know, that's fine. More so, he was engaged a week ago. So, Bevo's relationship life right now is kind of chaos. All right, whatever. I mentioned I would talk about Bevo being homeless. There's a couple of videos and live streams where Bevo was like, I'm homeless. Um, not too great, Aggie. I've, uh, Homeless. Um, I thought, give me an example, Pete. Um, like, well, if Sammy was fake, well, I went, ho I went homeless for one day. I went the same back in and I moved back in with my dad. So my mum did kick me oh, out. Oh, that wasn't real? No, I was homeless. Well, I wasn't homeless. I never was homeless. I thought you was really homeless? No, no, no. Oh my days, bro. I actually thought you, you was homeless. No. I mean, you got to make a bang. So I literally, I fell off and I had to come back with a bang. So I had to just bash these stories out. As we just saw, Bevo admitted fully to not only lying about being homeless, but the reason why he lied about being homeless. <coughs> uh, he was on to make a bang. He just wanted to get viral and make more views, which, you know, respect. You know, I respect. I've been dogging on Cartonark for months now, and you guys are still watching it, so I get it. <laughs> I don't like it when people don't put their cards away. I've never not said that. Why? Why do you understand? So that's kind of messed up. I don't think lying about being homeless is a great look for you, Bevo. Not only, you know, on top of cheating and not knowing how to use ketchup properly. I think that's a third strike. I think that's three, Bevo. You're out! But you know what? I'm willing to hear an apology. You said you'd make an apology video when you were talking to your girlfriend. So let's hear it. Let, let's hear what you got. Put the headphones off of this. I want to hear this. I didn't want to have to make this video, I'm not going to lie. I wanted to stay away from all the dark side of TikTok, all the drama and all that, because I'm just, I'm not a part of this, you know? Like, I, I'm not a part of that life, and I want to just have good content on my page. But when I'm getting sent loads of videos regarding this whole Sydney matter, um, it is just getting to me a little bit, and it's getting to Sophia. Um, and it just isn't fair on her, you know? So I just wanted to clear some stuff up. Like, I'm not the bad guy here you know 
Do you know what I mean? With whatever Sydney's saying about me, I've blocked her on everything because it's unfair on Sophia, as, as I keep saying. Um, but when I'm seeing two individuals just leeching and taking advantage of Sydney, well, I could say three individuals, really, um, it's just petty. Like, I've gave Sydney a platform. I made her quit a job. She's now making a good income. She chose to do o only frenzy, however you want to say that. Listen, good on you. Crack on in it. Do your thing. But... When you got leeches out there that are just leeching for views and I'm still living in your head rent free, it, it's crazy and it's just like, why are you putting yourself in this position? I'm not the bad guy. I, I took you on holidays, I bought you anything you wanted. I didn't care. And like, even now I don't care. I'm not gonna ask for it all back, you know. Um, but yeah, I just, to Sydney, just, I do wish you all the best, uh, as I say, like, but just be careful who you're working with. Because it seems like I've been sent your videos and you seem so uncomfortable in half of these videos. And I've seen one about you driving, which I know you can't drive anyway because of like your eye. I'm going to put it bluntly. Like you, you can't even get a provisional. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, uh, <laughs> that is rough. I don't even know where to start with that. You know why he uploaded this. We actually see the before video on the live stream with her filming. All right, do you want to make a video? Well, I don't give a shit what she no, did. I'm, I'm gonna make an apology video. So, the reason behind this isn't because he's trying to be a saint, he's perfect, which he's not. By the way, we've pointed that out the entire video, if you haven't seen that by now. This guy's actually kind of a piece of shit. Respectfully. <laughs> not only saying that he gave her a platform, which, yeah, he kind of did, I guess, in a sense, but, you know, who gave you that platform, Bebo? Is people making fun of you? Did you forget that? Did you forget that you're a meme and that no one actually likes your content? They just like the fact that you don't know how to chew. And, you know, as soon as that meme dies, so will your account. No offense, that's just kind of the way it works. You're not hot stuff, Bebo. Right now you are, sure. But just like the Island Boys, just like Kevin G, just like Little Tay, I could keep going and going and going. There are so many different creators who rise up really fast, get it in their head that they're amazing and they're special and they're everything they need to be, and then immediately plummet because the only reason people liked their content was because they're a meme. Bevo, for the love of God, stop filming everything, okay? And, and get your shit together, all right? I get it. Life is complicated and messy and crazy, but can you just stop talking about it? <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you've watched this long. As you can see, I've changed up a little bit of my recording studio. It looks a little bit nicer. There's a little more to look at in the background now, so I hope that looks nicer on video. Thank you guys for watching and commenting and liking and being here. I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye, and subscribe, bitch!